So ionic bonding occurs when a metal reacts with a non-metal. However, it can also occur when two existing ions come into proximity, such as when they're mixed in water. Many salts are highly soluble in water, which means the ions separate among the water molecules. But take silver chloride, which is an insoluble salt. If silver ions meet chloride ions in solution, they'll begin to stick together to form ionic bonds, which will create macroscopic particles which are visible as a solid precipitate. We can represent this by an equation called an ionic equation, where we show the individual ions coming together to form an ionic compound. In this video, which was produced by the VisChem project, you have a solution of water, the water molecules are red and white, containing pale purple silver ions and green chloride ions. You can see that as the oppositely charged ions meet each other, they stick together, that is they're forming ionic bonds, and they begin to form a crystal. When the crystal gets large enough, it will be visible to the naked eye. Notice that the water molecules, which have no charge, don't participate in the ionic bonding. In this task, I'd like you to have a look at these two reactions, and I want you to figure out what salt would be produced when these two elements react. So name the product of the reaction, then write out the balanced formula equation for that reaction. And then finally, like we did uh, earlier in the video, draw some simple dot diagrams that show how the valence electrons are transferred between one reactant and the other to make the ions of the final product.